Whether you went through a scene kid phase in middle school, or adopted a new social media persona after smoking weed once, everyone has some experience with copying other people. Maybe you thought ninjas and Star Wars were cool. Maybe you got a man bun. Hey, I ain't judging. Maybe you've even experienced that existential dread of feeling like you aren't even your own person. You're just a collage of other people's behavior you've stolen. It's a lot of work being yourself after all. It's probably easier to just copy someone else. But you know what they say, good artists borrow, great artists copy. So let's look at some other examples of copycats that exist in nature. Introducing Paracerceus sculpta, which is basically an ocean cockroach. The males of this species come in three different sizes, alpha, beta, and gamma, with the alphas being much physically larger than the other males. Now, scientists have called this species the Mormons of the sea, as the alpha males guard a harem of females, denying access to the other beta males. But the betas are crafty. They're not gonna sit around and let the alpha chads hoard all the women. So instead, they pretend to be female, infiltrate the harem, and then they sneakily mate with the other females while the alpha isn't looking. This is known as intersexual mimicry. You know, I wonder if ocean cockroaches have an incel problem. Fucking alpha males hoarding all the women for themselves. I think you guys know what we need to do. Kevin, what Kevin, the fuck? Holy Ke shit, Kevin, the no! Jesus! Now, I'm sure you guys have all heard of the stick bug. Pretty simple. Bug that looks like a stick, nothing special. But have you heard of the satanic leaf-tailed gecko? Look at this dude. He actually looks more like just a leaf with some eyeballs than an actual gecko with a leaf tail. Some of them look more satanic than others. I like to imagine the more satan-y looking ones sell insurance for Daiko, Geico's evil counterpart. Daiko. 15 minutes is all it takes to dissolve a body in acid. There are a bunch of other animals that mimic plants too. You got katydids, the wraparound spider, the buff tip moth, the giant leaf insect, leaf frog, Leaf Moth, Dead Leaf Moth, Dead Leaf Mantis, Dead Leaf Pedestrian. Wait a minute. But you also got animals that mimic other animals, like the Spider-Tailed Horned Viper, which, you guessed it, has a tail that looks like a spider. Jimmy from third grade. Fuck you, Jimmy. Always copying what I was saying and shit. Then there's the Rove Beetle, which over time evolved to literally change the shape of its body to mimic an ant's body allowing it to sneak into ant colonies and steal their food. But the most disgusting and disturbing example is that of the Leucochloridium, a worm parasite. They start out in birds, who then poop them out, which then gets eaten by a snail. From there, the worm larvae move into the snail's eye stalks and take control of the snail's brain. It then needs to get eaten by a bird again to fully mature. But here's the thing, birds don't normally eat snails. So it turns the snail into a literal zombie, causing its eye stalks to pulsate in this disgusting pattern. The pattern is meant to trick birds into thinking it's a nice tasty caterpillar, so that way birds will eat it and then it can mature inside the bird so it can keep living its stupid life of being pooped out and eaten over and over again. Well anyway, that's all I got for today. If you got this far, please like and subscribe, and if you have any video suggestions or topics you want me to make a video on in the future, comment them down below.